My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week, we break down full UFC fight cards, giving you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. This video is brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. It is the world's first online play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out now at betyouearn.com. That's bet, the letter U, earn.com. Next up. At UFC Vegas 48, we have Joaquin Buckley fighting Abdul Razak Al Hassan. This fight has been rebooked from UFC Vegas 46 because Al, Al Hassan had to pull out. Joaquin Buckley is 13 and 4 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, coming off a TKO win just a few months ago. Abdul Razak Al Hassan, 11 and 4 overall, 2 and 3 in his last five, coming off an awesome KO win over Alessio. Chicharicchio. 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 Joaquin Buckley, the proud owner of the greatest knockout in the history of the UFC. And there's been some amazing knockouts. And I know. But there, there will not be one better than what we saw with Joaquin Buckley. He's a short, thick guy with big power. And he comes in hot. And what's funny is I said that you know, when I did my early breakdown for Quick Picks. And somebody commented... He's 5'10", please, for all of us at 5'10", stop calling Joaquin Buckley short. So I guess he's not short, Jacob, which means you're not short. But Joaquin Buckley comes in hot. He has good forward movement, solid pressure. He doesn't really cut angles very well. He just comes straight on. But he does have real speed, real power. He does a great job ripping the body, coming to the head, and he throws with intent he has a performance of the night bonus in every single win. Every win that he has in the UFC has a performance of the night bonus on it. Abdul Razak Al Hassan is a very powerful puncher. He does tend to head hunt while looking for a knockout. He is a high level judo guy, at, but he just fell in love with his striking, so he just doesn't use his judo anymore. He loves his power, so he's just head hunting now. Instead of being a well rounded judo guy, he's just a head hunting power striker. And that's a shame because he's such a talented grappler that if he mixed it in more and he threatened with those throws, he would be very, very good and a really hard puzzle to solve because now you're worrying about defending throws and you're worried about being knocked out. He's an incredibly talented guy. He has power in his hands. And as we saw against G Chicharico, he has a solid path to victory here with that power. He's got to go back to his roots, though. I think he's got to mix in some judo. Get Buckley thinking and not just let Buckley come forward throwing big, heavy shots. The most interesting thing about the statistics, if we look at the stats, is that Buckley has a horrific... Let me move here. Buckley has a, Buckley has a horrific takedown accuracy of 16%. And he has attempted takedowns in every single UFC fight except one. And it makes no sense whatsoever because he's such a nasty striker and he's winning those striking changes. There's literally no reason to shoot, but he still shoots. He still looks for those takedowns and it doesn't make sense that he, do, that he does that. And if you look at the majority of Alisson's losses, he was taken down and ridden out. I don't think that's a, a path for Buckley. I don't think that's a factor. It's just an interesting dynamic and it just makes no sense that Joaquin Buckley's looking for takedowns. And earlier in the week, I was much higher on Buckley to win this fight. And I'm just so split now. So I think Buckley is the better striker. I think he hits harder. I think he's the more athletic guy. But Al Hassan is just so... He's just always there throwing hard, looking for the head that he could connect. So I'm still going to lean Buckley here as the pick. I already have a bet on the round line. I did the over one and a half because I don't think this is immediate fireworks. I really don't. But... Buckley's the pick, and this is a much closer fight, I think. Um, well, what are the odds? The odds are probably correct, but I'm I'm a little torn here. I think Razak is a very live underdog, but I'm going Buckley. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be fireworks from the beginning, and if they exchange from the beginning, I'll take the guy that's got 11 first-round finishes. The Alisson has 11 wins. Every single one is a first round finish. I think they get after it early. I think if Buckley is wise, he will go to the grappling and try to wear down Alisson because if, obviously if you get him out of the first round, he's going to lose. So I think this is fireworks in the beginning and I'll take the guy that's got 11 first round finishes. I think it's just as easy as that. 
Yeah, I mean, I may like right at when it comes down to it, I may do a money line bet on Al Hassan because he is a very live underdog. I just Joaquin Buckley. It's hard to watch those fights and not be like, wow, like wow, that is a scary, powerful, talented guy. Because that Razak could be gun shy at times, only head hunts, you know. So he does have that power, but he he almost likes it a little too much. And look at a negative striking differential. 3.7 strikes landed to 4.23 received. You know, and, and Joaquim also, I mean, he's basically even. Well, that's, I mean, that's because he lands like two punches when he wins, and when he loses, he gets beat on. So that's why the numbers are so weird. I, I get it, but, you know, the reality is he's just, he headhunts, and yes, he has insane power, and if he connects, it's a problem. So we'll see what happens. I personally think it is over one and a half rounds. So I placed that bet and it was minus money, like minus 110 or something like that. Um, whoever you like have in your DraftKings. I think this definitely wins. You know, I, I think there's a stoppage here. I don't think it's early, but there is a stoppage here. You agree? You're going to have Al Hassan in your DraftKings and somebody. Oh, uh, yeah, because he's going to get a first round finish. So that seems like yeah. pretty easy. And if you That's like an Buckley, easy decision, it seems like a very easy decision. And if you like Buckley, he should be in there too. If you remember last week, with Monkey Knife Fight, I said, put the co-main event in Knockout Kings. Monkey Knife Fight does a game in Knockout Kings. You pick any three fighters on the entire card, and if one of them wins by KO or TKO, you get paid. I said, just double up the co-main event, and I did, and I got paid. I think this is the fight. Double this fight up in Knockout Kings. Max out the bet. Pick any other fighter that you think can win by stoppage, and bang, you'll get paid. It's free money. We'll talk about that in this specific Monkey Knife Fight video. I would rather double up the main, I think. But you do you. Yeah, and Johnny Walker's coming off the boring... Well, we'll talk about the main when we get to the main. You want 50 free bucks? We want picks.com slash bets. Sign up. Make a deposit. Let me know after you do, and I'll send you 50 free bucks. That simple. Five zero free dollars.